dear students in this module we are going to discuss our common environment and we're going to ask a very important very pertinent question are there limits to growth so the concept of limits to growth addresses the ecological boundaries of sustainable development a prevalent topic in the discourse of sociology it addresses that unchecked growth could potentially exhaust the natural resources and it can destabilize the environmental systems which would ultimately lead to the societal and economic crisis the tragedy of commons is a very interesting concept that provides the theoretical framework for understanding the dilemma of the limits to growth it suggests that individuals driven by the self interest may exploit the shared resources to the point of depletion which is a potential risk for any society like pakistan as we have seen that the tragedy of commons is a great example in a way that it gives the example of the herdsmen who are going for one common place where their all their uh, all their animals are trying to grasp as much resources as possible so at the by understanding this analogy we can see that even the human beings since they are treating this environment as a common or public space they are trying to grab maximum share for themselves so this is potentially creating an an, an environment where everyone is working for their self interest so rapid population growth in pakistan can serve as an example of pushing environmental boundaries high birth rates can lead to excessive consumption of resources overstepping the carrying capacity of the environment so it is perfectly understandable that how in pakistan environmental degradation is occurring and what particular segments of society are playing what part or how much in that environmental degradation unfortunately since there are we don't consider that there are limits to growth and there are limits to development so industrialization machinization and particularly the industrial vehicles or the production of vehicles is producing a lot of environmental degradation so we need to have a certain check on these uh, unprecedented growth rates of these entities so pakistan's water crisis is another real world manifestation of the exceeding environmental limits and we see that the over reliance on the indus river system for agriculture and unsustainable interaction of the groundwater have led to the water scarcity and different quality issues which demonstrates that how overuse can strain the common resources and similarly industrial expansion in pakistan while an important aspect for the economic growth has increased the population pollution levels and which is further strained through the natural resources such scenarios necessitate a balance between development sustainability showcasing the dilemma for the growth limits and to understand this we need to see it through the sociological lens if we use the environmental determinism which asserts that the physical environment particularly climate and geography shapes the societies and cultures so if the growth limits are ignored pakistan's environmental aspect could drastically change influencing the social norms human behavior and the structures in a very unforeseen way we can imagine that through the pace through which we are facing the floods we are facing different natural calamities we are facing the problem of smog and smoke in the urban areas and we are facing the problem of road safety and traffic uh, traffic viol violations and particularly the traffic congestions 
and all these are exacerbating the issues of environment and climate. So to counter the limits of growth, the idea of sustainable development is very important. It argues for an economic development approach that meets the needs of the present without compromising the future generations. And that's why it's important that we go to zero carbon energy or zero carbon emission and we go to renewable energy sources. Ki taraf और पर्टिकुलरली जब हम लिमिट्स टू ग्रोथ की बात करते हैं तो हमें ये देखना पड़ेगा हमें ऐसी पॉलिसीज डेवलप करनी पड़ेंगी जिसके जरिए हम अपने एनवायरनमेंट को जो है प्रोटेक्ट कर सकें एट द सेम टाइम दैट वी नीड टू गेट बेनिफिट फ्रॉम द डेवलपमेंट एंड फ्रॉम द मॉडर्नाइजेशन एंड एट द सेम टाइम द सोशियोलॉजी ऑफ डिजास्टर कैन थ्रेटिकली एनालाइज द इम्प्लीकेशन ऑफ इग्नोरिंग दीज ग्रोइंग लिमिट्स it can predict the social consequences of envi environmental disasters caused by the unsustainable growth providing valuable insights for policy making in pakistan